Hey YouTube, it's Tracy here. I just wanted to come on with a video response to Lulu and Matt too. I was looking at your video and it was about the three other things that you have learned about yourself in 2011 and some of the things that you were going to stop doing. I think that theme was comparing. And I just wanted to say as I was listening to your video, I totally could relate because I think we all do that. It's just like a natural thing that we do, especially as women. You know, we're our worst critic. We're always comparing and looking at somebody else and saying, dang, you know, she's got it together. Or, dang, I wish this or I wish that, you know. It, you know, especially when I first went natural, wow, and got introduced to the YouTube natural hair community. And I was always looking at videos and seeing how beautiful so many people's hair is you know everybody that I look at their hair is just absolutely gorgeous but it's unique at the same time because everybody is different and sometimes I would find that I would look at their hair and then here comes the ruminations you know and sometimes I too would become obsessed with my thinking and my thought process and wishing you know dang how come my hair don't look like hers or what's wrong with my hair I was always doing that there was a video that I seen a while ago, a while back, early on in my um, stage of first starting to just wear my hair curly. And one of the rules that one of the YouTubers had said was, never look at someone else's curls and wish your curls look like theirs. Because guaranteed, someone is going to be looking at your curls and saying they wish that their curls look like yours. And you know, that is so true. I just wanted to really come on here today to do this video to say that stop the ruminations, you know, shift your focus and thinking, you know, about, um, you know, how your hair is or how fast it's growing because your hair is absolutely beautiful. I love the videos that you do and, you know, how you share the products, the different products that you're using and how your hair comes out. And believe it or not, sometimes I get a little jealous. I look at your videos and be like, dang, her hair is so cute. Why my curls don't look like that when I do, you know, my hair. So we're all victims of doing that, of looking at other people's. And sometimes we have to kind of stop and say, okay, my hair is cute too. You know, what? why am I tripping? You know, um... Yeah, I do that with Ivy Charlene. Sometimes I look at her videos, and especially since we've been on this growth challenge thing, and, you know, I remember the first month when we took our first hair measurement, and I seen that her hair had grew one inch. I was, like, so excited. I'm like, hey, now one inch. She got one inch hair growth in one month. And I, I took my measurement, and my measurement was, like, a half an inch. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, why is hers, like, an inch and mine is a half an inch? You know, but, yeah, so we all do it. It's just like a natural thing. Um, but, yeah, stay encouraged because your hair is fabulous. And I love the videos that you've been posting. And, yeah, so just keep them coming. Um, I think it's kind of funny. Sometimes we can get a little caught up, a little bit obsessed, you know. But, um, yeah, that's what makes curly hair fun because everybody's hair is so unique because... All of our hair, you know, we have different textures, different looks, and that makes us really, really unique. So, stay beautiful, girl. All right, talk to you soon. Bye. Peace, two fingers.